Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I'm Ajuna Sharawat, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with leaders interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulae for many. And this is what we trust these sessions are, a gathering of leaders and a knowledge sharing community. Today on FaceTime with Industry Stalwarts, we have with us Gagan Sahu. Hello. Hello, welcome Gagan Sahu. Gagan Sahu is currently working as Vice President at IDBI Intech Limited. Gagan has substantial experience in the IT field of the banking sector of finance, which ranges across a vast spectrum, right from product conceptualization to its implementation, from product designing to selection and finalization on various banking software solutions, implementation and migration of Vernacle core banking solution, and extending his scope further to preparation of request for proposal RFP selection of vendors, and more. Along with managing the IT aspects of the banks, he has also handled recruitment, mentoring, and managing staff. Welcome, Gagan. I, I say you. this again. Gagan, as you work so closely with technology, what do you think the future of finance and banking solution will be like given the advent of technological aspects like ML, AI, cloud, IoT, and so on? Well, uh, as far as the banking sector is concerned, there is no uh, fear of banking sector because they have been already using a lot of artificial intelligence, business, uh, artificial intelligence business. Then this, uh, what do you call it, uh, IoT, and all, all other aspects. Then fear was there when uh, computerization was uh, introduced in the banking sector. I was involved from the beginning with the transformation of banking sector from manual to uh, automatic laser posting machine to total bank automation, then to core banking, and finally now this API banking, or we can say the fintech lending. So there may be a temporary period when uh, banking sector will lag behind, but definitely they will cope up. So I don't find any challenge uh, from the uh, this uh, fintech banking or other uh, you know, technical, uh, what we call it, uh, advance in uh, banking sector or uh, other sector that will affect you know, this thing, this banking. <laughs> they are already using in various aspects or various sectors. Say take for take for example this uh, artificial intelligence. We have been already using artificial intelligence in banking sector for uh, customer onboarding, for uh, high value data uh, this processing, and many other things. Similarly, this uh, iBot or you can IoT that we are using in, now, it is using in some, you can say, early stage. But in many banks, they have used this to detect fraud. They have used it to detect uh, cyber attacks. They have used it to de detect ATM. Uh, uh, attacks or it's on the ATA what they could break, ATM breaks. So that we are already embracing this various technology. It may be slow in the process because of there are a lot of limitations in the banking sector as compared to other sectors, but we are not far behind. Okay. And uh, do you think that FinTech will overtake traditional banking in the foreseeable future? Definitely not. The same fear was also there when these private sector banks came to existence around 95, 96. Because we are at that time when the publisher bank and handling various uh, jobs in the 
initial stage of uh, computerization or the initial uh, stage of adopting internet uh, sorry uh, technology to banking sector but in the short run there may be there they may be the overtake us not overtake they can take some space but in the long run definitely uh, banks will uh, come up as far as the fintech is concerned i have some fear about their stability or their sustainability because they come like a fly by of the night operators they will come they will make huge profit in the short run and they will have some issues and they will disappear so same thing happened with many private sector banks also and this is going to happen as the fintech bank also okay whatever technology they are using many many or you can say all banks are in the process of adopting those technology but technology adoption in the banking sector is slow because they have a lot of restrictions they have a lot of processes they have to revamp their existing uh, technology so that takes time as compared to fintech banks who starts from the zero so starting from zero base and starting from existing modifying the existing process definitely are two different things so i don't find any uh, fear from fintech that they will overtake in banking sector secondly this uh, uh, our population is going the use of technology is growing like anything so always there is um growth so some growth of what you technology use will be taken by fintech companies some will be played yours so as far as the customer base is concerned banking sector has nothing to fear okay that's enlightening what made you stay with the firms that you worked during 32 years long career of yours uh i mean that you worked with only two companies so what reason uh can you please tell us what made you stay only with these two companies okay as far as uh, working in organizations are concerned two companies are concerned i am i definitely took mental peace or mental satisfaction as the objective than to work for the company okay and secondly when i joined it to as a manual banking so i have uh, seen all forms of transformation as far as technology adoption is concerned in banks so i am also fortunate to handle uh, important and a critical projects all the time in both my organization so that gives immense satisfaction because most of the time i have been given good uh, team many times multi locational team as i found in union bank of india multi locational team in i was at that time i was working in calcutta and there are seven different teams at seven different locations north east and east bihar odisha assam and all the north east states so seven different places i was handling seven different teams so that is a very good challenge i am i got at the early stage of my career early stage mid stage mid stage of the career and every time i have come successful and to the satisfaction of the management so secondly once one after another they have reported faith on me by handling by assigning me on a next important project so i don't find any reason to change the frequently as this present day generation present day generation people are doing changing the organization every one or two years and not becoming a part of any single big project because the satisfaction i got in being associated implemented uh, and uh, uh, getting successful in big projects after a period of time that gives him a satisfaction so that we can write here it may be few in uh, assignment it may be few assignments because uh, big assignments come once in a while say every four five years so bank bank goes got transformation or organization goes from major transformation to which we, i should be part but every time i found successful not unsuccessful i fortunate rather that management has a report faith on me that this person can do the things and uh, i um, satisfied them by uh, getting the work done in uh, proper time wow so you had wholesome experience you saw a lot of projects well like okay. taking into account the 32 year service that is not lot of projects because uh, as people big people they will as uh, they will uh, associate for say six month three month two month three month they will take this we have handled the handled the project for that is not like that because the 32 year definitely lot of projects will come but uh, almost all the projects i was associated from beginning till end so that gives me immense satisfaction whether i just starting Uh, associated so in the middle of the project or end of the project beginning of the project and living in between say after one year two year that is not at all uh, 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 will lead to anywhere because at the end of the day there may be seven pages of cv but what did they have achieved nothing only moving from one organization to other organization third organization fourth organization 
and i found out that again after some year 10 years or something they can come back to the original organization which they have left so that should not be things because organization is not get when you getting benefited by this this approach so in that case the senior sort the management senior management i can say they have a great role in uh, molding the uh, view point or attitude of the staff members which i am doing in uh, as far as my team is concerned and to your knowledge or to the knowledge of the viewers uh, i uh, all my stages i manage my, with the minimal staff minimal staff uh, because that is the best you know which i can get or i can manage with or anybody can manage and that i have i um, uh, i am able to get uh, best of each and every team, team member <coughs> so finally all the things have contributed to the success of the entire project absolutely gadan what advice would you like to give to the current generation <coughs> well current generation i have hinted something uh they lack uh, you can say uh, devotion to the organization that they should develop secondly dedication to the work many times i found that uh, they are so 9 to 5 workers that government office type thing so that government office type thing they don't achieve anything in the process if they will look at the watch and in between there are lots of indiscipline then they are not going to achieve anything and finally nobody cares for them and when some new projects comes or important project comes they are not selected so first advice i should give, give them that they should they should develop sorry they should uh, develop dedication to the uh, their work and devotion to the organization because they should at least stay uh, five years so, or if you are associated with any project they need to be in, uh, go to the logical conclusion so that you can leave that's okay but in between in the project if they leave that is not good at all in the long run the second thing is the uh, what i found that is some of, um, outside this uh, discussion they should develop uh, the good reading habit what i found in my team or over the last 32 years the present generation what they are doing uh, if you give them 20 page document they are they are not able to read completely at one stage so that because in that case they are not developing the analytical ability so when when the project implementation or project discussion happens they are blank from the beginning because they have not read anything they have not analyzed the thing so if you uh, if you don't have any reading habit for well, um, a sub substantial period say one or two or at a stretch then you can't have develop the analytical ability third thing um, i should say uh, as far as the health is concerned see these days uh, that is again outside this uh, subject but still i found that many people they are suffering or uh, taking a lot of uh, sick leave because they are uh, not that to do anything or for taking rest but actually they are suffering from the elements various health health issues or they call it that uh, uh so job related uh, okay this bp sugar this and the bp sugar comes then there lungs problem this stomach problem all the thing so they are not taking out their health problems and uh, if also that the food they take in the background that is also the main culprit so they should do uh, have a scientific approach to manage their health number one then the food they intake and uh, they should develop another social discipline these uh, the generation the special generation y or generation z those who have joined after the 2000 all the because that was now i have we started getting those who took birth after 2000 these people are highly disciplined socially disciplined they don't to uh, some people in the office they have a lot of one thing office discipline there are social discipline also some are maintaining office discipline some are not but social discipline is the very important second they are not able to digest cultural diversity because while watching in a metro metropolitan city uh, definitely people from all over india from various background various language and various region they will come so every people have they are different uh, they have different cultural diversity so one should observe and one should know what uh, which background this person has grown accordingly we should manage them so that they can uh, deliver in a better manner or we can extract the best from the those candidates okay thank you so much these are really good uh, pieces of advice <laughs> uh, so these are these are all um, you can say experience of my long career because i i watch uh, how the person works how the person behaves how the these things and i also gradually uh, take their background 
uh, from them directly or indirectly and uh, try to mold them so that they behave in a be, not behave you can say they perform in a better uh, better manner yeah. thank you thank you gagan since you are a corporate governance expert now are there any game changing or value adding changes uh, you would wish to make well uh, as far as corporate governance is concerned, um, I should try or um, this board should try uh, initially to uh, make a paradigm shift from this uh, property maximization of shareholders to welfare of the stakeholders. So that will take care of everything. All the stakeholders in the stake, if you take stakeholder welfare, then that will cover each and every aspect of governance, number one. Number two, as far as the board is concerned, all the board members, they should be involved uh, in a more direct way through discussion with the various staff members, you know, this uh, senior management, so that uh, to have the pulse of the organization in a, and a, uh, divide their strategy in a better way. Then third thing I can say, uh, uh, yeah. That is the, this, uh, as the board governance becomes critical, every board member should be devote more time in crisis management. Because crisis management is one thing which comes unnoticed. Risk management is okay, but crisis management uh, is something everybody should do, practice, or everybody will not practice. They, everybody should learn how to have a crisis management. If something that is fire, what, what we should do? or something else happens or something happens to the company, either in the company level or some other level. So, so that there is more uh, paradigm shift uh, as far as the board governance is concerned. Thank you. Gagan, as uh, you know, we have been building the FaceTime with leaders community for cross-pollination of knowledge and a community of non-executive directors for having a better corporate governance in, in the country. What are your thoughts about these initiatives? Well, uh, Director for Institute is taking uh, very good initiative as far as this cross policy is concerned by organizing various uh, webinars or the seminars is concerned. Thank you for your valuable feedback. That was a fantastic conversation with you. I'm confident that your insights will inspire the future leaders. Thank you, Gagan, for joining us today. Wish you the best for your future endeavors. And trust that this initiative by Directors Institute unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds. Thank you. Thank you, Olina. Thank you.